What's up guys, this is Connor. Welcome back to Three Pedal Devils. In today's video, we're gonna be doing some moto vlogging off-road on my Tau Tau TBR7. So if you're new to the channel or just missed the last few episodes, uh, the boys and I are going on a 600 mile off-road adventure ride called the Trans-Wisconsin Adventure Trail. Um, the bike that I bought brand new to ride that is the 2021 Tau Tau TBR7 that I'll be riding today. It cost me $1,400. I've got about 120 kilometers on it at this point. I don't know why the odometer is in kilometers, but I'll convert that and put it up there. Anyways, I've got a little bit off-roading on it, but I'm gonna go do a little bit more today, and let's get right into the good part. Gear up and head out. All right, so this is the bike that I'm going to ride. My white 2021 Tau Tau TBR7. Sorry if the panning's garbage. I've got a chest mount here, but you can kind of see it. You'll see it in previous videos as well, so go check those out if you want to see what this bike looks like closer up and uh, assembly wise, but we'll hop on it and get started here. Alrighty, well, hope the chest mount is a good angle and a good view here. I've never rocked a chest mount on my bike before, so I think this will give me something a little better. I got something in my eye. That hurts bad. Oh, I almost dumped it. Oh my gosh, what is that? Sawdust or something? Ah. And this is why you don't put your helmet on top of your toolbox. Man, that hurts. I think I got her cleared off. Alrighty, well I'm gonna ride to this uh, little off-road section that I'm gonna be working with here today so I'm gonna cut the camera off here so we can keep this video reasonable length. I changed my mind. I'll show you this part so you can see how slow this thing is. 35, 40, 45, 50, 50 year. my blinker on even though I hate that beep I need to cut those wires on that beeper ASAP because that is so annoying I'm gonna run up over this way let's uh, take a gander on over this way too bad. Hope these construction guys don't get mad at me for this. I haven't seen any signs saying not to go over here so also haven't seen anybody actually work in construction here. Let's see I guess. If someone gets angry I'll gladly leave. But see this area I might as well enjoy it a little bit. Let's see if I can get past this way. Oof, some, some ruts. Ugh, I don't want to go that way. Eh. I could make it. Let's do it. Famous last words, right? Whoa, shit. Those were some famous last words. These tires are not great. First time I took it out here, I was like, oh, these tires aren't bad, but more and more I go over here, the worse these tires seem to be. Oof, I'm 
want to dodge those, some big ruts. Oh boy, oh wow, I almost ate shit down that. Oh boy, some deep single track here. Uh oh, how am I gonna get myself out of this one? This is a bad idea. Ooh. Yeah, I'm kinda f here. Oh boy. Yeah, I got her good and stuck now. F me. Holy f shit. Oh, got it out and then I stalled. Holy walk. I got it buried in a different one. Are you kidding me? Wow, single tracks are not my friends, especially when they're that deep. Oh, so I might dip out before somebody gets angry, calls the coppers on me. Let's see what's this way. Wow, jeez, this is rough. And let's send it this way. Oh, that was close. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh, there we go. And first drop on the tow tow. She's pissing guys everywhere. Look at that. Light enough to pick up. On your own. That sucked. Got my boots all muddy. See if we can find neutral. Nope. And oh, shit. This is just all mud. Shut her off here for a sec. <sighs> yep. That was a mess. Doesn't look like I really did much damage. If any. Just, uh, got some dirt everywhere. That stuff was mucky. That's all I can say. I was able to get through it pretty good here. I think I'm an idiot and it might have rained earlier and I didn't notice, but that's what I was stuck in for a second there. I think I dropped it right about there, but I'm gonna head out so I can wash this thing off and uh, get out of here before someone yells at me. But this bike, Chinese quality and all, it'll get you places. That was some tough stuff, and I'm not an experienced dirt biker or off-road rider by any means. I'd say I'm just barely a beginner, 
and uh, somehow got myself out of that mess. But uh, not really sure how. Looks like I've got road closed in both directions. Let's make her happen. Holy crap, we're shooting so much mud out the back. Ooh, I feel bad I'm going to be shooting all this mud all over these people's nice streets. One thing I'll mention about riding this bike on the road, it's a 5 speed and in 5th gear I'm going about 48-ish right now. This thing vibrates a lot compared to my other bikes that I've ridden. Maybe I'll do a video sometime about my thoughts on this thing in a more organized way. Maybe like a top five favorite things about the bike and top five cons or biggest things I don't like about it. Might be two good videos. Overall this thing's an absolute blast. Great addition, great addition to my uh, motorcycle collection. Size of two so far. Pulling back into home base here. Probably should have downshifted there, but I didn't. All right, I'm gonna call that the end of this video here, guys. Hope you enjoyed just seeing some raw footage of me riding this thing. Commentary wasn't super great, but I haven't moto vlogged much, so. Hopefully that'll get better in the future when I find things to talk about as I'm riding. But um, if you enjoyed seeing this thing rip, seeing me dump it in the sand and somehow get myself out of it, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Come back and check out our future videos on this thing as I keep preparing for our trip on the Trans-Wisconsin Adventure Trail. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.